a very good day to my academic advisor Dr. Sri Intan and also my internship training coordinator Dr. Leonie Tham. My name is Rishi Selvam and my metric number is F18B0045. Today I would like to present about my internship training that I have been through. I have done my internship training in Raviraj Sintan Brahad, which well known as Enrico's. First of all, I would like to get into to the first chapter, Introduction. Introduction to Raviraj. Raviraj it was incorporated in 1991. Raviraj also engaged in repacking, importing, exporting and contract repacking. Raviraj were located in Penang, which is HQ, it office and there are also seven branches for Kaviraj, which is located in Pera, Selangor, Negeri Sembilan, Pahang, Kelantan, Johor, and also in Singapore. Next is about the visions of Raviraj. Raviraj's vision is to be one of the top five fast-moving consumer goods distributor in Malaysia. Mission of Raviraj was stands in six different aspects. First of all, customers, consumers, Technology, team, accountability, products, and projects. Next, the credential that Raviraj owns is ISO 2008 certification, ISO 2005 certification, HACCP certification, Halal certification, Musti certification, and also Super Brand certification. The awards that Raviraj owns was Pinar Recognition Awards, Action International Malaysian Best Marketing Award, Kohinoor Food Limited Award. Golden Bull Award 2007, Action Coach Beast Award 2007, Action Coach, Coach Hall of Fame Award 2008, Human Resource Excellence Award 2014, Malaysian Indian Business Award 2015, Business of the Year Award 2015. The background of Raviraj was stands with the founder of Raviraj, SKS, and then the managing directing of Raviraj. Sir Rajendran Belayutam and then the director of Raviraj, Sir Ravindran. Next is about the product and services of Raviraj. Raviraj producing five core products which is Enrico Ghee were, were coming out in five different packy 125 gram, 400 gram, 800 gram, 5 liter pail, 18 liter pail. Next about the milk powder and Rico, 300 gram, 550 gram, 1.8 gram, 900 gram. Next about the My Kapi, My Kapi were coming out in 4 different sizes, 50 gram, 100 gram, 200 gram and also 500 gram. Next about the High Top Tea, High Top Tea coming out in 3 different sizes, 100 gram, 200 gram and also 400 gram. Next about the soy made of Henrico, which is coming out in 250 gram. Next about the Surabi spices, there are a lot of spices being packed as Surabi spices. The spices all are imported from India, Bangladesh and also Indonesia, Malawi. These spices were packed into 250 gram, 500 gram and also 1 kg. Next is chapter 2. I would like to continue about the summary of daily activity that I have carried. First of all, the sensory test for every batch of raw material. There are many types of raw material were imported for Raviraj. In Raviraj, the most famous material of which is imported is spices, crystalline ghee, milk powder, bags, soy meat, also. This sensory evaluation is the best technique to identify the quality of products by using our five senses. Milk powder was used to make into a cup of milk and serve for the panelists to give the feedbacks. Crystalline ghee will be used to in making of in making of sweets to check the quality and soy meat also will cook for further testing process. Next is creating batch number. Creating batch number for every material that comes in. We need a COA certification of analysis for raw material and then for delivery order for packing material to create a batch number of every incoming material. Handling written goods, first the written goods will be received from local and branches. These goods will be checked, its quantity, quality and also it is expired or it is damaged. And then these goods will have a proper process to 
get out of the deleted area and then uh, RCM document will be issued as the documentation part. Next is about the audit that I have been handled is internal audit, musty audit and then handling of some training also. Training that high handle is pest control management training, ergonomics training and also finance training which I have been managed to handle. The next chapter is about the technical report. The technical report that I have to manage is sensory evaluation. By the sensory evaluation is by testing the product into five sensors and producing the result of heat. Uh, the first thing that I have been tested is herbal drink from Everbest brand. The four different flavor are tripla, amla, pomegranate and also ballari. Uh, for the conclusion part, I have been concluded that overall acceptability for tripla juice and amla, amla juice is not accepted by most of the panelists and also the pomegranate was looked too sweet and also uh, some of the artificial color have been used whereas ballari juice has also no ballari smell and color was to pay. I'd like to continue about the second task that is assigned. Uh, I have been developed a product by using two different flavors, citrus and passion fruit, and also with the modification uh, usage of physilium husk, which is stevia and non-stevia. Stevia is is a fiber came from physilium husk, which is improved a product to be in low sweetness. The overall acceptability of this product is um, the usage of stevia may reduce the sweetness of product but the solubility of the juice is lowered because stevia is a fiber so it is insoluble. Delicate packaging modification. Uh, a market survey conducted to compare the Enrico UHT milk with Dash Lady UHT milk. A new step, one-step one cap maker make it easier to consumer to enjoy the full cream milk instead of opening a cap and then removing element from foil. These two steps are combined into one convenient step which is called improved helicap technology. With our new screw cap packaging, it is easy to store, refrigerate anyway and new cap design provides a smoother flow with less splashing and making it more convenient. Based on the visual observation, the base for Alicap design for Dash Lady Cream is very strong compared to the UHD mail because of the hole formed near the Alicap during the opening of cap. This makes the consumer feel unsatisfied. These are the market survey that I have been done for UHD milk of Enrico's. In my opinion, Raviraj can also assign job related to the study field and also Raviraj may can improve their manpower to company to run in a smooth flow and then the equipments that they have will not utilize well, maybe can utilize well in, in future and then other than that, this uh, organization having a good documentation, housekeeping and also good in product hygiene as well. Suggestion for industrial training program. This industrial training, in my opinion, I was really very satisfied with this industrial training because the in internship task that assigned by UMK was perfectly alright. We can utilize everywhere we want because it's all in internet. So whether we in company also, we can manage to do some of the tasks that have been given by the UMK. Suggestion for myself to improve is I should be more capable and time liar in completing tasks so that the organization can be trusted me to perform things well. And students also need to be aware of situation during the industrial training. Training section we cannot be over in dependent on supervisor guidance. As a conclusion, I have to be acknowledged Raviraj Sanjayan Bahad, Suryat, Madam Surya Kumari, plant manager, and also uh, QA department head. Uh, for further giving me chances to involve in their process flow of ISO, Musti, my food tag and everything. And then this program is gave me a lot of improvement in doing things more better and making myself to be more self-confidently to do and to involve in a program, involve in a situation that to be handled. Thank you, that's all from me.